Hi, I have recently bought a Chrysler 300C, it's a beautiful car, I'm loving it, it has only got one issue, I turn the dashboard on, I see that uh, there is uh, a diagnostic light turning on, and uh, I turn the engine on, a few seconds later, also the electronic throttle light turns on near the diagnostic light doesn't do it uh, uh, all the time but when it occurs the car goes on limp mode now i want to understand why is that happening let's connect an elm 327 can bus adapter to wi-fi to uh, the car uh, it's not far from uh, uh, the, the, the pedals, I think I found it, here we go, plugged in, once the ELM327 is connected, let's just turn the engine on. Now we're going to need a laptop, we don't need to be sitting in the car because uh, uh, the ELM works through the Wi-Fi. Let's just find it on here, Wi-Fi OBD2, it's an open network, just connect to it. Once we are connected to the OBD2, Let's open a video terminal. I use Putty. In Putty, let's select Telnet connection. The IP address is typically 192.168.0.10, and uh, then the port is 35,000. And let's open. When our session is open, let's just check that uh, we are actually connected to something by pre uh, typing ATI and enter. There was something going on, but uh, at the moment with uh, the, the current settings of the OBD2, we can't really uh, see much of what's going on. So let's type a few comments which are going to make uh, the interaction with uh, ELM327 more intelligible. The comments are ATL1, so that uh, there's going to be a new line added every time we uh, type a comment. Then we give another comment which is ATH1 which is going to show us additional headers and then AT, oops, ATS1 which is going to insert spaces uh, obviously the, the, the backspace was uh, interpreted not as uh, a delete character but as an additional character so we'll have to uh, type the command again ATS1 there you go and then ATE0, which is going to remove these uh, hideous uh, echo uh, when uh, we type comments, and then we are going to allow long messages by uh, typing ATAL. There we are. Now let's check how many trouble codes there are. To do that, let's have a look at uh, the instruction manual for uh, the ELM327 at page 34 we have got this command here 0101 which is uh, to uh, know how many trouble codes there are 0101 there we go 
So this is uh, just the header of the response. Then 4101 means that uh, this is a response to our request 0101. And then 81, this is the actual number that is giving us how many trouble codes there are. We need to subtract uh, 18 to this. So we've got to one trouble code. Now, we would like to know what the trouble code is. To do so, we use the command 03. Uh, in, in here, there is our trouble code. How do we interpret this? 7E804 is just the response header. 43 means that uh, this is a response to our request 03. And this is the actual trouble code. 01 has to be interpreted as P1. The actual code is uh, 2015. Let's go to www.obd-codes.com. Now let's click on trouble codes. In generic powertrain trouble codes, what we're looking for is codes between 2000 and 2099. So P2015, intake manifold runner position sensors with circuit range performance bank 1. Let's open this one. And here we've got some notes regarding this. Uh, then if we look into this a bit more in detail, we're going to find out that uh, this issue has to do with uh, the swerve flaps. Check out the next video to see how to fix these.